What's going on y'all? It's your boy Blazinary here and we are finally back from Atlanta. I literally had such a blast in Atlanta. I decided to extend the trip. I was staying with Scotty and his girlfriend Josie. We stayed for an extra like eight days and we literally went around doing a bunch of cash out deals. So I was posting a bunch on my social media at John Carlo Perch and my Snapchat at John Carlo Perch. And if y'all follow me on there, you can definitely tell we got a big video coming up this weekend because I bought another car. Not part of this haul, but we got a lot of things to get into because I got stuff from Lennox Mall. I got stuff in the mail. And we also got a special brand shout out that we're gonna do in the video. We haven't done a mail time in a very long time. I feel like I was doing a bunch of vlogs and then I started getting the business together and y'all saw a lot of cash out videos. So we're kind of getting back into the routine summer, into the fall. Y'all feel me? We're gonna do some outfit vibes because your boy's growing up, all right? The Supreme, the box logos just ain't cutting it for me no more. Meeting Polo G at SneakerCon was pretty cool. I was able to get some Polo sweats. Here's another Polo G piece from the, uh, from the show. He signed this shirt. This is some of the dirty laundry. I got a lot of clean stuff to show y'all. Too. I mean, I was there for so long. I had to buy freaking new underwear, man. Nike Pros going in, I guess. And I'm just showing you all the new random sh that I've been buying. Stuff that I feel like I wouldn't have normally picked up in the past. I thought this one was pretty cool. At first, I thought it was a koi fish, but then I'm like, oh, sh it's a pink flamingo with chains on. Uh, and then some denim. So y'all already know one of my favorites. Subi, we got right here. This is a really nice pair. It's just simple. It's got a little leg rip and it's also got another little leg rip. And I'm actually getting a little bit bigger of a waist size. I realize when you dry your jeans, it will shrink. So go a size up if you're like me. I got no time throughout the week. Just dump them in the wash. And I like having the same jeans for a couple years. So I got a 31, or I'm in like a 30. A shout out to Scotty, man. Scotty's been crushing it on the storefront for the team. And he actually picked up this new belt for me at the mall, which I thought was really nice of him. I had to one up him, get him a little bag as well. If y'all followed us on Instagram, you would have seen, you know what I'm saying? And then some more stuff in Neiman. So this is actually my second trip there I went twice first time was when I thought oh we're staying for a couple days and the second time was oh shit, I actually really need clothes and since the goal was to sell a lot of stuff when I got back home from New York I decided to pick up some new pieces so I was in the Bahamas and I was really feeling some of these collared shirts with the button down so I got an Alexander McQueen one right here it was on like 25% discount at the Neiman Marcus and Lennox and then another Alexander McQueen piece pretty random but I actually just started buying it because I really like the quality I like some of the fit as well I actually got quite a few compliments on this shirt when I put it on. Uh, it's got like a really cool painted skull in the background and it's got a little bit of an allusion to off-white I think with some of the, the side paint job going on on the arm sleeve there. I feel like Virgil definitely stamped that with his fashion to just kind of put craziness all over the piece and it's even matching up here on the logo. So super cool, Alexander McQueen. Just my first couple pieces from them. Here's another one right here. It's kind of the same skull vibe and I feel like that's what a lot of his pieces are sort of like the undead stuff or skeletons, the dead stuff. Not to go too morbid or anything, but we did manage to get some Valenci sweats on discount as well. Scotty was messing with me too. He's like, gee, you bought some $30 Adidas pants, bud. And yeah, maybe I did, Scott. You're right. These definitely could have dubbed at the Marshalls for like 10 to 15 bucks. I actually kept the tag on to show y'all. Oh, great. This doesn't have the price on it. Good. I did all that for nothing. On discount, it was like 500 bucks, but normally they were like 800 and I could see why they were on discount. Just easy little light joggers. Oh, you wouldn't even believe how long we were there. We were there for so long, I had to bring my store into the hotel room so here's some shipping labels i got like a new laptop as well i, I figured i would leave this in here and show y'all because some of you guys just like me are really into the gaming and stuff like that so i got a new legion laptop but it's got a rtx 3070 in here which is gonna be dope get me like 50 mega hashes for mining it's great now that i can use it for the store travel computer this is me actively looking for a sharpie hey, and just so we really make it official blazing their store come on and then here's another balenciaga discount i love finding balenciaga on discount because paying for it at the store is just really tough to do a full price i've done it now where i bought a hoodie full price and then saw it on discount i'm never buying balenciaga at full price again sorry to those of you watching that work at balenciaga because you're telling me i'm gonna go pay what 900 bucks for them to go to 500 at neiman i'm good i like my 500 dollars neiman sweats and here's some more stuff i mean i gotta say i went above and beyond here i'm gonna sell all my other jeans i'm selling all the pants that don't fit me right it's time that i went and got a new change of the wardrobe scotty actually has a quite a few pairs of these jeans they're called purple and i never have really any crazy color I feel like maybe i wear these once a month but just still right having the option in the closet is something i didn't have before kind of like a yellow with like white paint on it i think it looks really dope and the style as well like the fray on the bottom of the leg i think is some really cool detail not to mention they're comfy as hell i threw on a pair already and after wearing them just once twice it stretches out to your body and feels really good this one is actually Actually not purple this one's Hudson I threw these ones on because I also got these on discount and just all about that new fitment for me
me. I'm not doing any try-ons right now. If you guys want to see some try-ons, definitely go to my Instagram because I'll probably be posting some outfit photos with them. But I just really like the simpleness of it. It's got a little bit of a white splotch, a little rip action going on. I could show some of my leg tats. And just brands I haven't bought from that I'm trying to experiment with. Here, let's get into a box because I think you guys are ready to see some boxes. Oh! Another retail Jordan. Now listen guys, we have entered into a recession. And I'm gonna say straight up, if you're not investing in the recession pairs and you're just gonna hold on to them for four to five years, I don't know what you're doing. This is easily a $450 shoe. I'm buying as many Oreo 6s as I can get my hands on for retail or close to it. Because right now the economy with the way things are going, I'm not a financial advisor, not even qualified probably to talk further much other than saying I think this shoe will go up when the market turns around. And I could talk more about that subject too. Let me know if you guys wanna see a little bit more of an in-depth approach on some of my take on reselling and what I think is hot to buy, what is not. Because I'm very picky, right? I, I, I hoard certain Jordans, certain colorways. I hoard a lot of white and red colorways that allude to like the bulls. Some of those off the wall, like vault color stuff, I'm not too big of a fan on holding. Oh, I ripped this box up. Another thing I really like to buy are fabric cases. And I buy these to do a game show on whatnot where we sell them. But also too, they've just appreciated very well. And over time, if you look at any series that came out, that was two, three years ago, box prices going for four to 500 unopened. So I always think it's a good idea to stock up, especially when you're able to buy some of these items at retail. Like the bear cases are about 190 bucks after fees on stock X. If you hold it for what, three to four years, you're guaranteed to make 200 bucks profit off that. Sounds like a play to me. Oh yeah, now Lennox too, I got a new Louis bag. I thought this one was super dope because it's got like the Virgil hints to it. You guys can tell it's still designed by him, his collection. The chain here is sick because it's part of the zipper. I like the red inside, like I said, the 3D look. I have a belt that actually matches with this very well. If y'all wanna know what the boy Blaze is smelling like these days, I just picked up this Meteore or something like that from Louis Vuitton. It's 180 bucks for the cologne itself and 100 bucks for the bottle. So 280, you buy it once. Every refill is 180 of the liquid. Oh yeah, here's that belt. I, I uploaded this in a different video. It was a vlog of a uh, GovBall and a couple other things. Oh, and not to mention y'all, we happened to get one of the craziest restocks because we were in Atlanta. Tons and tons of new pairs. Oh wow, it looks really big, clean. Like I haven't even seen this in a Aisle, man. We got new merch coming, guys. The Atlanta tees. You guys can shop those on the whatnot. Link in the description. Listen, anywhere from GS in grade school to Big Heat, we're trying to get it all. I can't wait to keep doing more store content. I really feel like there's going to be a big push for that as we continue to move forward and grow the operation because we're cycling through about a thousand pairs of shoes a month. You guys can't even see it. It's like this is like 5% of it, 2% of it. There's like some clothes we got on back stock. I mean, we got everything. If you guys remember last month, we did a very special Nike Mag. $1 auction that was brought to you with collaboration by Threadbeast. Well, today my first monthly curated package came from them. Being it's the start of the month, I need to get right and I need to get some outfits ready for the vlog. I got a lot of upcoming travel. So what better of a way to just get my own custom personalized box of clothing that's tailored to my sizes, the brands that I like, and the type of clothing that I wear the most. They keep a personalized profile for you so they'll never send you the same thing twice. And like I said, you're gonna get brands you love because you told them what to put in there. So for me, I asked for a lot of the basics and essentials. Like I told y'all at the beginning of this video, I'm trying to change my style up a little bit. And what better of a way to do that than working with a company that's gonna help me style some new pieces. All right, so right off the bat, simple essential socks. Literally, I need socks. Everybody needs socks. I throw out Nikes probably once a year. Another essential that I asked specifically for in my box, some button ups. Y'all saw my Alexander McQueen ones. We got right here some Tommy. You guys now even worked with Tommy, which I think is super dope that I get to continue repping their brand. Simple basic tees as well. One word on it says publish. If only I had these for SneakerCon because I would have saved myself a couple mall runs. And don't forget, y'all are gonna get selections from some of the hottest brands worldwide. Nike and Undefeated literally just collabed and I know this shirt would go perfect with them. When I need to hit the links later this summer, you already know we can do that. We got some casual white cream shorts. They're almost like dressy shorts and what's really dope is they're made by a very popular streetwear brand, Stussy. This brand literally ran the 90s. Super cool to see them make a comeback as well. And y'all already know, cause it's summer, they're gonna keep theming it summer. So I needed some new shorts. They certainly delivered with some undefeated. These are super hard. Love the logo on the leg. And for the last piece of my Threadbeast box, we got a simple pair of denim. Holding it down on the Stussy. Shout out to Threadbeast, man, for real. We're gonna go ahead and show y'all as well. Throughout the videos this month, we're gonna be wearing some of the fits, so keep your eye out. And don't forget to use the link in the description 
description below to get your own custom Threadbeast box as well as a little discount code brought to you by Blaze Knight and Threadbeast. All right, at this point, I'm just unpacking. I mean, come on, guys. Look what we had to pull out the suitcase next. This is what my Nike mags look like after wearing them for the last six years. And I mean, they've held up, all right? I got a sole protector that I got put on the bottom at one of the first sneaker cons I ever wore them to. And I have a little stain on there that bothers the sh out of me every single time I see it. But uh, I, I'm too afraid to clean it, to be honest with you. And uh, here's what some of the wear looks like. The glue is starting to separate just a little bit, which kind of breaks my heart, but what are you gonna do? Oh, and another part that I don't think anybody notices when you wear them, because the straps are rubbing against this leather right here, all this leather is cracked and chipped. All right, here's some more stuff I got myself. Like I said, y'all, I needed some more shorts, so boom, Alexander McQueen's entering the cut, summer bathing suit. Here's another pair of purple denim. Oh, and another pair of Hudson. I showed y'all one pair earlier, but this one's kind of got some more uh, denim splotches, a little bit more bleach action, and a little bit more uh, design on the knees and the ankles. I like this pair, and I love the fit of it as well. This is like a white paint cracked pair of the purple denim, so you guys can see from far away how that looks. And then I got like this holographic shiny kind of material. I don't even know what to really call it, but uh, you guys can maybe tell by the camera. It's like a little bit metallic-y, like a pearl, like a satin ghost white pearl, almost, is what it reminds me of. Hold on, I'm gonna probably do this wrong. I wish I had like proper technique for this. You know what? I'm just going for it. I'm not gonna roof it. All right, so far so good. Yep, new hat. Check it out. Love the patch as well. All right, honest opinion on the Zen Masters, y'all? Because I think they look dope. I think when they do a Jordan colorway, that's not an original one. It's a hit or a miss. And this is definitely a fire 10 out of 10 from me. Need your comments down below. It's like a tie-dye pink infrared bottom. I feel like they literally use the infrared bottoms and just dyed the top. Even the box is literally the infrared box without the cement speckle on it. Y'all, the next big piece of my haul is going to be shown on Saturday. So we went to my parents' house, we took a box truck, we shipped everything. Took us probably 12 hours just to get it all out, but appreciate y'all's support. Thank you for the love on the store. Thank you for the love on the videos. We'll see y'all at SneakerCon Vegas with another cash out booth and a special exotic car. And don't forget, because you guys already know, leave a like and I'll see y'all this weekend. Squad Blaze and I, we're signing out. Stay positive, y'all, and for real, make sure you check out Threadbeast because those are the homies. We're gonna be working with them for a very long time. Take care, brush your hair.